Sandton Downham is a jewel hidden in the depths of Fetford Forest. The surrounding woodland contains much of interest, but the best area to look for wildlife is in and around the Little Ouse River that forms the boundary between Norfolk and Suffolk. I was lucky enough to have some great views of Notter on my last visit here, so I thought I would chance my luck and see if I could see one again. As I headed up river, I disturbed this moorhen on the opposite bank. A swan was feeding out in the middle of the river, reaching deep to find its food. As I walked alongside the river, I kept hearing some strange noises coming from the trees and couldn't work out what it was. Eventually, I came across this group of mandarins nesting in a tree and realised it was them that was making the noise. I walked as far as I could upstream and there was no sign of any otter at all, so I decided to return back to the start where I found this mallard having a good wash and preen. Then a song thrush started singing from the top of a tree. After returning back to the start point, I almost gave up and went home, but then I decided to carry on and go downstream for the first time, where I found a flock of Canada geese resting up on the far bank. A siskin dropped in and started feeding on some older cones. Normally a shy bird, this water rail was feeding quite happily out in the open on the opposite side of the river. Then at last a mother and her kit were spotted just further down river. Initially they were so close I was unable to film them. The mother soon started to swim off downstream at quite a pace, leaving the kit to follow as quickly as it could. We followed after them and were lucky enough to see them leave the water and come out on the opposite bank. They soon set off at quite a pace again and we all hurried after. It's quite difficult to keep up with them as they seemed quite purposeful in where they were going. It all eventually came a bit too much for the kit and it decided to stop off on a tree that had fallen down into the river. After a while the mother decided that the kit had had enough rest and tried to coax it back out into the river. But the kit really seemed to have had enough and all it wanted to do was go to sleep. The kit finally fell asleep back in the fallen tree, with the mother paying close attention to watching every twitch and move her kit made.
Then finally, the mother coaxed the kit back into the river and they disappeared from view.